in on anything useful? Come on, quit playing games.
can't see. Locked it that easily, so I traveled with Vladimir's soul.
You're searching them. Make it quick.
Landing gear is ready. It's clear. Yes. Captain, greetings. Research station. You speaking. What is your business here? What? We haven't sent a distress signal. Nothing on the comms. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. Look, what are you trying to pull here? Really? The high energy research lab. Alright. I don't know what's going on here, but you should talk with the director. For security, I'm going to have to ask your friend to wait out there. What's inside? Stay with me and don't make any sudden moves. I'll get the door. Welcome, Tunisia. I'll watch things from out here, and you go do what you need to do. Just be careful. Dan Hughes, Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the Director. We'll take the back way up. Here, you can see our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. So, uh, Nishina was built for... What the? Easy! Easy! What the hell was that? What are you talking about? 
One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. In our storage room. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on, this way. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? Rafael. Rafael Aguero. Chief engineer here. Well, I was. What do you mean? Wait. How did you get in here? Hughes? Ethan Hughes? But... he's dead. No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... the accident. Maybe... maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Right. Sorry. Three months ago. I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. The lab was built around a xenolith with a dense metallic odd... Just disappear! We should... Wait. He's back. All right. We're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it.
Montana Research Director. And then there is our chief scientist, Rio Hughes. He thinks that you you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now, now, three times? Doctor, you can't take this seriously. Look, look, I don't, I don't know, know who you are or what you're doing, doing here, but there has, has to be a rational explanation for all of this. And then, artifact? You mean the source of the destruction? No, no, we don't, don't. Enlighten, Enlighten us. us. Really? That's all you're gonna say? No, no. Fair enough. You have a prior connection with them, then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. We didn't know. That's why we were researching it. That is science, after all. So far, no one else has reported anything unusual. Either it's your prior exposure to these artifacts, or perhaps simply the fact that you're an outsider here. That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait, burned out? The leak? Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. We're not sure. Raphael was in the lab near the ventilation controls. He could have stopped it. Maybe he did. Or died trying. Presumed dead. The research level has been locked down since the accident. We still don't know exactly what happened. If he survived, he could have ended the lockdown, but... You mean this other Raphael? No. How could we possibly do that? Raphael was a colleague and a friend. If there was some way to help him, I would. But it does seem unlikely. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. Not from up here. The explosion fried the network circuits. Without physical access to the research level, there is little we can do. We have been working in makeshift labs for months. What you see here are just our living quarters. Most of this facility is deep underground. We have a particle accelerator and extensive research and development labs. Or we did. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab, so clearly his elevator works. 
take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. We can't shut down the probe, but we might be able to adjust some of the other parameters. It's risky. We don't know what we're dealing with, but... <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. What have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> you what happened you disappeared and the ceiling caved in and and uh, i thought i'd finally lost it what how look if you think things are bad up here the research level is even worse i barely made it out and that was months ago i don't understand any of this if I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess.
Look at this. It's going to take hours to clear this out. Assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. I'm not sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. The fire took out the generators, damaged the foundation. They just keep coming. I was in the lab, working on the frequency calibration for the probe. I was walking out of the control room when it happened. I heard the tanks rupture. The alarm sound. I only had a second to react. I jumped back into the control room. The doors sealed. I was safe. From the gas, the fire, everything. But I was trapped. There was nothing I could do to stop it. If I had gone the other way, maybe I could have made it to the ventilation controls. Killed the system. Even if it killed me. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. It's you. You realize you just popped into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah. Let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? Uh, yes. Kataxi. Nasty things. The original survey team ran across them. You're welcome to read the old logs if you want. Yeah, I'll unlock the terminal for you. The Kataxi in the other universe. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. I've got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together. But... Uh. Huh. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Maybe so. All right. Yeah. It's never been field tested, but all yours. Bigger than you'd expect. We've got a particle accelerator. Whole lab complex, the high energy research lab. Real state of the art. Can't tell you what a tenth of it actually does. That's right. Has been since the accident. We can't connect to the control system to override it. The whole system's on a hair trigger. Cameras spot anyone not in the staff database. They fire off an alarm and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> 